Okay, it's time for another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create some moody volumetric lighting. Uh, so we're going to take this picture and turn it into this. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's uh, get rid of all the things we don't need here. So the very first thing we do is we need to find a picture of something that we want to use. This one's nice because it has all the lighting coming in from one side. And we're going to go ahead and change this around a little bit to change it from like a uh, colored picture into more of a monotone, almost nighttime picture. So the first thing we need to do is isolate our lighting sources, which are these windows. So the way we're going to do this is we'll grab the pen tool and we'll make a selection. Go to selection, command C to copy it, command V to paste it and command D to deselect. So we have that on its own layer now. And we're going to continue to do that with all these other windows. So I'm going to speed this up so we don't waste too much time. Okay, so now if we turn off the background, we can see that we've isolated all of our windows. That's really the hard part right there. So the next thing we're going to do is start creating our mood for the background. So let's select the background. We'll come down to recolor. And uh, we're going to make it like a tealy kind of blue. Let's bring the lightness way down there. A little more teal. Kind of give it that gothic look right there. And we will put that right into the background so it only affects the background. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to start up here. This is our uh, our topmost layer here should be our very front window as we can see if we turn it on and off. All right so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a blank pixel layer and we're going to grab our pen tool once again and we're going to be kind of creative here and say okay if this was casting light coming in from an upper outer source here, we're just going to kind of create our shape. Loosely. And then let's go ahead and fill that with kind of like a, uh, a pale, pale yellow, something like that looks like it'll work. All right, so you're saying that looks terrible, right? Well, of course it looks terrible. So first thing we need to do is get and create a blur. And uh, you would think a Gaussian blur would work really well for this, but actually we want the center of this whole section here to stay a little denser than the outer edges. And what works really well with that is a box blur. So we'll come here to the live filters and we'll come down to box blur and we'll crank that up to where Let's go almost the whole way with that. Okay, and we'll leave that the way it is. And again, you're saying that looks terrible. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a mask for this layer. And we're going to reset our colors to black and white. Let's grab our gradient tool here. And we're just going to drag from up here to down here. And you can see how that creates that kind of volumetric look. And to clean it up, we'll come back to that mask. We'll select black and get our paintbrush. And we'll paint with kind of a big brush. And we have the hardness turned down to zero there. And we're just going to kind of clean up a little bit. Because, of course, we're going to get some light spill from the light source. All right. So with that done, we can kind of turn this layer on and off and see what we've created there. So we're kind of getting a, a reasonably good look there. Again, we may want to come back to that mask with black and our brush. And just say, okay, that may not be getting all the way up there. And this will almost work in and of itself, but let's go ahead and do another window just to be on the safe side. So we'll, we'll take this and turn this a layer off. And we'll come down to our next window, which if we turn it on and off, oh, sorry, one more down. So we're going to work with this one. So we'll put a uh, pixel layer on top of this. And 
I'm not exactly sure why I'm doing this this way because I think when you create a mass, when you create the uh, with the pen tool, it automatically creates its own layer. But we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to grab from right about here, come down, say yeah, that's where it would project to, maybe to here, and then close that off. And we'll do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and fill that with. Pale yellow. And then we'll, again, we'll go to the box blur. Crank that all the way up. Pretty close. And then we will mask that layer as well. Let's reset our colors. Get our gradient tool. Pull it across. Come back to our mask, painting with black, can clean that layer up just a little bit. And so then what we can do is we can turn on all of it and say, wow, okay, that's way too much. Now I've left this in normal, um, but what we can do here is just take the opacity down some on the front one and also take the opacity down on the second window. And you can play with this to your heart's content. So if we take it and uh, group all these layers, we can turn off our volumetrics. And we can also come down here and turn off our recolor adjustment. So this is what we started with. And This is what we ended up with. So again, a pretty simple uh, workflow on this, and you can get creative with the colors, um, day to night, whatever works for you. So if you like this, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to my channel so I can keep making more tutorials like this. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.